IFR pilots have a big mental shift to make when they switch from flying on the needles during the approach to landing with outside visual references. Today, however, GPS-derived synthetic vision makes this transition simple. Even when the airplane is in the clouds during an instrument approach, pilots with synthetic vision can control it in much the same way as they would on a sunny day. They essentially play an elaborate video game in which they place the green dot or flight path marker on the runway threshold and use coordinated pitch, power, bank, and rudder pressure to keep it there. Keeping the flight path marker on the image of the runway threshold keeps the airplane properly aligned and on glide path. The flight director, if the airplane is equipped with one, gets demoted from a primary to a supporting role using this technique. If the flight director is used at all, my personal preference is to unclutter the screen by getting rid of the flight director entirely, a suggestion that sounds like heresy to some veteran IFR pilots. The biggest benefit to this synthetic vision technique is that the mental shift that takes place when pilots go from heads down in the clouds to heads up in preparation for landing is minimal. They're already using coordinated controls and flying as they would in visual conditions throughout the approach and landing. The biggest difference is that on cloudy days, the real world is a lot less colorful than the screens would seem to indicate. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.